Amir Anderson, welcome to Misfits. Yes, We've been yes. speaking about it for a minute and here we are, Fight Weeks Upon Us. I gotta say, mate, a lot of excitement generated around your your welcome to the yeah. company, to the brand, to the promotion. Yeah, Talk to me a little bit. How excited are you? How do you feel? I'm excited, very excited to um, showcase my skills on Misfits and show the world that Misfits is the best, best promotional company. Why Misfits? Misfits, um, KSI and Mams came to me with a painted picture for me, and they uh, they didn't they didn't have uh, they they that they had stuff that the other promotional companies didn't, and I, I love that they they had a painted picture for me, and they already knew what was going to um, they already had a game plan for me for the next three years, so that's that's was like uh, that was genuine, that was genuine love and genuine respect of my work that I've been doing in amateur. So I appreciated that and that's why I signed a deal. I know that you were a fan of KSI before all this yeah. and you know, I've seen the, the clips of, of you saying, that's, this is crazy that now yeah. you're here. And one thing that I think was, it wasn't him saying it to you and it wasn't you saying it, it was a, a mutual agreement that this is not the end of the road. This is not right, you've made it, sit back. Right. This is okay, we've helped you get on the motorway. Yeah. Now we're going to go mm -hmm. into the fast lane. Now we're going to move. Would mm -hmm. that be a fair assessment? Yeah, um, you had it on a note. This is not this is not the end of the road. I didn't make it. You know, I, I still have a lot of goals that I have to accomplish and a lot of people to inspire. So um, I don't think like none, none of the signing, none of the KSI and all the hype and stuff, that's not that's not the, the final project. And the final project is going to be bigger than all of this. So it's definitely it's definitely more more to come there is a lot of people in the boxing circuit who know who you are mm -hmm. there is a lot of people in the misfits universe who won't be familiar with you right. what kind of fighter who are you what kind of fighter are you who 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 is amir cashman anderson amir cashman anderson is a very versatile fighter he uh he has powers in both hands um he's just fun to watch that's why i would be telling people that he's a really fun fighter to watch and he's very skilled um compared to um I don't want to say this. I don't, I don't want to say it to knock any misfits fighters, but this, this, the, my level of skill set is different from what everybody in the influencer has seen so far. Well, I mean, listen, Johan uh, Ingram was sitting here before, and he yeah. he he's coming from a similar yeah. background, and yeah. and he had a, a similar thing, and he he put it really well when he said, "Look, there's credibility from my side, mm -hmm. but I'm here to learn from these influencers. Like they're here to learn from me." Yeah. That seemed like a fair way of putting things. Definitely, it's definitely like how he said it. It's, it's definitely um, the boxing skill set and all that stuff. The stuff I would bring to the table and uh, the influencer side is going to be um, just expanding my brand, and I'm going to put on a show for them. So I think it's a it's an even trade. Is is the fact that you are signing to a, a major global brand that mm -hmm. is is one thing. But the fact that you were doing it with another fighter such as Johan with, with you know, huge uh, expectation and excitement mm. behind you both, does that make you even more secure that you've, mm. in your own mind, that you've made the right decision because this is the direction we're going in? Yeah, definitely, because um, John is a, a hell of a fighter. He, the this I've seen him in the amateurs and what he's been doing in the pros. He's been, and he's been a, a very, a very uh, entertaining fighter. So, uh, and the hype behind him is, is definitely, it's definitely made me feel secure that me and him is gonna we gonna make a, a dynamic duel um, for time to come. If if I was to put you at the top bracket of your division now, mm -hmm. top of your weight class, mm -hmm. more for the fans watching who who maybe aren't aware uh, of Amir Anderson yet, mm -hmm. what kind of fights would you be involved with right now at the top end of our division? Um, everybody at one sixty um, is is on my target. Um, everybody to have a title. Uh, I was just talking to somebody about um, me and Xander. Me and Xander, I think, is going to be a super fight. I love Xander. I love watching him fight. Yeah. But um, Xander Sayas, he's a real good fighter at 154. That eventually he's going to move up. He's a big kid. Um, so he's he's going to we're going to make a super fight one day. I know that for sure. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of talent though. That's uh, somewhere at the lower weight classes, 154, and there's some at 168. I think I'm the, I think. I'm the best at 160. I, even though I didn't even have a fight here, I think I'm the one of the best prospects coming up at 160. Um, Elijah Garcia is really good too. Um, I like watching him. But um, there's a lot of fights that's going to be made when we in the next couple of years. I'm not going to ask you to compare yourself 
uh, to professional, you, you know, professional boxers that, that many of us will have heard of the greats because I don't think that's fair yet. Mm. But who did you grow up inspired by? Who did you want to fight like when you were when you were crafting your trade? Um, the people I looked up to when uh, <clears throat> before I was even thinking about turning pro was uh, the people at my gym, Louis Vargas, Jimmy Garcia, um, Chad, and all of them, they was just watching them in the ring at Turning Stone, um, uh, Turning Stone Casino. Um, it, def it made me like, um, it, it motivated me to be a professional boxer. They, they were just these hard hitting people that was so genuine outside the ring um, that influenced me to be who I am now. So I like I, w I wasn't really influenced by Floyd Mayweather or Shakur or anybody. Um, the people that was in my gym was really the ones that influenced me. So when 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 we try to compare you now, look at the mm -hmm. 165 as I heard you say with James before on our social media uh, team, the likes of Golovkin. You know they they, yeah, they, yeah. they have ruled this division for so long. Right. But I guess moving on from them now, there's going to be spaces opening up. Yeah. And it looks like Amir Anderson could be one of those names who's yeah. who's moving into that position. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm definitely excited to be one of the next greats, you know. I'm going to be one of the Mount Rushmore's of boxers soon and uh, ready to make history, really. Just like how I did in the amateurs, I'm one of the best amateurs and I'm arguably had one of the best U.S. amateur records and accolades. And people can argue with me about it, but 10 national titles in the time frame that I had, the, the people that I beat, in the amateurs is is really not arguable, you know. So I'm ready to make my Mount Rushmore um, now in the pros. Numbers is numbers. Numbers, yeah. Numbers. You can, men lie, women lie, but numbers never lie. We can't wait. The journey begins on Saturday night. Yes. Yeah. The Cashman Anderson. Yes. Sir. Thank you very much for joining Misfits. Let's Thank go. you for having me.